I just watched the Ruby trailer. Someone recommended that before I formally started the show. And I'm really excited. Thing is, when I was watching, most of the time I was just impressed that it was really one guy's vision and how he really put this all together. Monty Ohm, who unfortunately, tragically died way too soon. I heard that story. It is awful. And nobody saw it coming. But he did at least get to bring his vision into the world as much as he could and create all this really cool everything. Of the four colors, I watched all four trailers are red, white, black, and yellow. The one I identify with the most, I've seen the first episode, is Ruby Rose, who I still think of Orange is the New Black every time I hear that name because I knew the actress first. But I like her. I like her passion. I like her color. I'm a big fan of red. I like her passion. I like the fact that she has weapons and that she's excited about that. I like... I really like the look of this world. It's really easy to see. It's... I can... I see the fan base being anime fans and video game enthusiasts. It definitely has a lot of that vibe, which is really, really cool. And, a, yeah, it just... You can see... What's really cool about these trailers is that it focuses on the main characters. I haven't seen, I've seen yellow, I haven't been introduced to white or black formally yet. At least not too in depth. Still, it's, you see, everyone's got a different fighting style, everyone's got a different action scene, everyone's got a different music style, which is, so you can get a lot of character out of that. Very few words, you, the only, the only time you really hear an exchange is between, is with yellow and red, or ruby rose. So, I'm looking forward to seeing where this is going. Uh, when I watched more, would, I've been getting the requests, I will be putting them here. Seems like a big epic story. I get a very epic feel out of this. So, looking forward to continuing that.